In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do this really cool music video effect. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films. And yes, in today's video, I'm gonna show you this really awesome music video effect, and that is the color shift. Now, the really cool thing about the color shift effect is it grabs one color from your video and it just rotates that color wheel so you get this really awesome color shifting effect. And the great thing is, is it's actually really easy to do. All you need to do is grab some footage and load up Adobe Premiere Pro. So once we're inside of the editor, we have our footage on the timeline. We can see our static and our moving shots. I'm just going to go into the effects and search for change color. Now in change color, I'm just going to use this eyedropper tool and I'm going to select the sky. And then if you see, if I pull up this hue transform, you can see that the color of the sky is changing as I increase the number. But I do need to soften this up because there are patches. So I'm just going to go down to the matching softness and pull this up to around 6%. And then we'll just rotate that wheel back down to zero. So that's the hue transform. So now I'm going to scroll back to the beginning of this clip and I'm going to create new keyframe for zero. And we'll scroll across towards the end and we'll do a full cycle. So we'll do 360. That means that this effect will orbit around all of the colors and come back around to the original color. And there you go, that's a really cool color shift effect. But as you can see, the water at the bottom of this shot is capturing the color as well. So we need to create a mask around the sky. So in opacity, I'm going to create a new rectangle mask. And then I'm just going to increase the size of this so that it covers all of the sky. Now, at the moment, you can see that that rectangle mask is bleeding on top of the buildings. And that means that all of those buildings are going to capture the color shift effect as well. So we're just going to go through and create some new points for this mask and just make sure that all of the buildings are masked out. And when that's done, we're just going to go into mask feather. And we're just going to pull the feathering up on this so that there is no harsh lines on this effect. And there you go, that's how you do the color shift effect on a static shot. Now moving on, we have this drone shot above the ocean. The camera is moving in towards the sunset and we want to change the color of the sky. So again, in effects, we're gonna drag change color onto our footage and I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool to select a color within the frame. I think I'm gonna select the blue sky because I feel like there will be more of a result there. So I'll just change the eyedropper to that and then I'll just pull up the hue transform. And then again, we will just adjust the matching softness. And then we'll also pull up the matching tolerance just a touch as well. And we'll just increase the saturation an ever so slight amount. Now we're just gonna reset the hue back to zero. And at the beginning of this, I'm just gonna create a brand new mask. So again, in the change color, I'm just gonna go into the rectangle mask. I'm just gonna zoom out of this slightly just so we can adjust the mask. And then I'm just gonna increase the mask so that it covers the whole of the sky. So I'm just gonna expand this out. And then on this position, I'm gonna go into mask path and I'm gonna create a brand new keyframe. Now scrolling forward into the video, I'm just going to adjust the mask just to make sure that this is back in line. And then once more, I'm just gonna to go towards the end of the clip. And again, I'm just gonna adjust the mask. This means that the mask will animate as the shot is moving. And then again, I'm just gonna add some feathering into that just to blend that out. And now once that's complete, we can go down to hue transform, create a new keyframe on zero at the beginning of the clip. And we can scroll through to the end of the clip and we'll do two rotations. So that's 360 times two, that's 720. Create that keyframe. And now if we look at this, there you go. That's the color shift effect now animating throughout this moving shot. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, push that bell icon. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.